over here next. Uh, okay, guys, uh, pull out your cell phones, guys. Pull out your cell phones. On the count of three, we're gonna take this photo. One, two, three. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We love you! Woo! This is a much like, this is a much bigger stage than I was expecting. Wow! There's so much room up here. So much room. We do so many activities. Oh, hey Salt Lake. I'm just getting all Jake already. This is water. This looks like I'm cracking open like an early afternoon beer. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Woo! They got, they got a, a boom arm here and everything. We don't have snow. No, I have never That's seen why you're here. We I've never seen one of these at a convention before. This is legit. This is the real deal. Look at that. Look at that. We're just going to give Jake a moment to <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. Wow. Can you do a little rotation? Can you can you Dutch on that thing? No? Never mind. Not impressive. Sorry. Now that we've said hello to the camera? Yes. Now I've said hello to the camera. It's on my contract now. So. Well, but I feel like I should be. Go do it. 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 Is it just me? Let's just let's go with animated. Maybe yes. I'm turn me down just a little bit. Um, sorry, you're supposed to run this thing, and I'm just. I'm I'm along for the ride. If you want to run and jump with it, you can run. Usually, it. usually they just throw us throw me out on stage with nobody. <laughs> and, I've seen your other panels, though. I mean, you jump around, you sing, my, you. Uh, I say things that my mother. I'll often say something and go, my mom watches these sometimes. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm going to be a good boy today, though. I promise you that. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I have no idea. Alex and I have been best friends for a number of years. And this is her first convention. So why don't you guys give her a warm welcome? guys an hour ago and they're wonderful. They're so excited that you're here. There's no reason to be nervous, right everybody? What am I I'm here like a moose or a yeah, horse? Moose. That's you? What is it? Do it again. Chewing! <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So you two have been friends for a while. Tell it was that through acting? Did you meet elsewhere? It was from some uh, work that we did together. <laughs> I don't think we're allowed to talk about. We don't talk about that, uh, right? But yeah, we met. We met uh, during that process, and. Uh, oh right, we're really not. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> I was like, what do you mean we're not allowed to talk about it? Talk about the process. Like illicit stuff we did before. Yeah, yeah, we in our early twenties when we were cool. Our mainstream, right? I understand. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we met working. Yeah, yeah, we met during that process in Vancouver. We we tested for said thing um, together. We didn't have the, we didn't have the parts yet, and we we tested um, together, and we both got it. And then, but I didn't talk to him because I didn't talk to anyone because I was so super nervous. Super focused. Do you remember? Yeah, I, I had my yeah. headphones in. That's why you got. The and song. I stared at the ground the whole time, and I wouldn't talk to anybody. That's why you got the part, though. That's what you told me. You told me I got the part yeah. because. I wasn't paying attention to anyone. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'll right? Yeah. Well, it's a nerve-wracking process. It's, we were both 20, I just turned 21, and this is a, it was a very big thing. And um, there's a certain amount of pressure. And, uh, you know. You've touched on that before, the, the audition. I've touched on a lot of things. I'm sure you have. I walked in with that one, that's on me. Uh, you uh -oh. have spoken. Conventions before about yeah. the audition process and how grueling that can be. What kind of advice would you have for someone who is now in your shoes when you were auditioning them? The thing is, and Alex, I wonder if you'd agree with this, uh, it looks so different. The audition process looks so different now than when than when we started. 
uh, you know, we used to go into rooms with casting directors and read with casting directors, um, and now it's all self tape. Um, you record yourself on your cell phone and you turn it in and you with get with your child in the background. With your child, yes, who makes noises in the background. Yes. I've done your research. I have. My child has made many appearances in my audition tapes. Um, you know, and like you have to find someone to read with you, or you. you record, I record my voice on the computer. Like it's a very weird process and not conducive, I think, for young actors to sort of cut their teeth in a way that's important. Um, but uh, you know, it's a numbers game. You know, it's like dating. <laughs> I know about that. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I do agree, Jake. Yes, I do. I think there is something to keeping your head down, though, and just sort of. Like, there's so much, no, I mean, yeah, things have changed so much, and so it's hard. I feel like a dinosaur. I can't really, it's so different now, um, and my auditioning is so different, but, you know, just keep your, I feel like you have to, with anything in life, keep your head down and really focus on what's important, and don't let yourself get distracted by what other people think, or what you think you should be doing, or you've got to sort of just really follow your heart, which is cheesy, but it's true. You gotta follow your instincts. Especially now, because because you're left to your own devices. There's no casting director there giving you notes and helping you. You've gotta bring your own imagination to the part, and you don't know if that's right or not. So at the end of the day, like, you have to be entertaining yourself. I think you have to do something that you can go, if they hire me, this is what I wanna do, and nothing else. Like, this is how I can be happy playing this role and then just commit to that, and then I mean, throw it up to the ether, and don't hear back. That's great advice, the first part. <laughs> Love it when you don't hear back. Love it. Love Let's it. Let's ghosted. Here, Please. Oh, hi. Hello. You look very cool. Why, thank you. Yeah. So, would you rather have to fight an army of 10,000 bears? I love these questions. <laughs> covered, well, you guys are covered in uncooked bacon with honey, or 50,000 seagulls in a suit of sandwiches. Look, look man, either way you're going down. No! The bears are gonna no! be quicker. No! The bears are gonna be quicker. The seagulls, you'd be fine. Dude, have you ever... I feel like that happens every time we go to the beach. 10,000 seagulls, was that the number? 50,000. 50,000! Oh. Yeah, 10,000 oh. 10, 10, now, it's gonna handle. But 50,000. No, no, you're, you're not going to win this fight. I'm going to go with the bears because at least it'll be quick. They'll just gut me from the start <laughs> with honey and bacon and... and, and no, I'll take the seagulls the and I'll survive. Fool. You know nothing of nature. I'm not going down by a bear. Hi. Hi, um, my name's Starla. Um, for yes or no question, are you guys, as television viewers, planning on watching any general adaptations in the near future? <laughs> and I don't know hey, hey, hey there's, also, there's also a writer's that strike going so on. That was vague. too well written of a question. That was so confusing, that question. That was good. Yeah. Yeah, I support television in all forms. <laughs> Well answered. Well answered. Thanks. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Jake. We support. I'm sorry. We support. Are you? Hey, can you get that camera over here? Can we get that camera? Can we get that camera over here? Can we get the, can we get the camera over here? A little more. A little more. <laughs> Alexandra Dario and Jake Abel stand with our our unions and our sister unions, and you heard it here. Jokes. I just heard a really dirty joke, but I can't say that because that's not a dumb joke. I'll tell it to you later. Um, but why can't it? Why can't it involve ducks? Because of the. You know what's funny is I forget how to set that joke up, so that doesn't help. Uh, My stepkids tell me a lot of dad jokes. Do you have one? Save me. I don't. I don't know. They tell them to me all the time, and I don't remember. Them. And no, it's wrong. You know, one thing I'm looking forward to. It's not really a joke, but like I'm hoping that my son comes up to me one day and says, "Dad." Can I uh, borrow a hundred dollars? 
That way I can say $20, why do you need $10 for? <laughs> Get it. it would work on you then, apparently. <laughs> Ask me for a hundred dollars. Can I have a hundred dollars? Twenty dollars? What do you need ten dollars for? <laughs> See, he's barking you down. You know oh, what's going on. Okay. You're a kid. Here. You're a kid. Yeah, okay. Don't you just know that I've gotten into cars? No. You don't even know the car that I just got. No. What? I just, well, I don't want to make other car companies not be <laughs> as endorser. I just got the old 1970-whatever Ford Bronco. I don't know what year it is exactly, but it's awesome. And people on the road honk at me and go, cool car. Is it white? It's baby blue. Good. And I have driven... I don't mean to brag, but I have driven an Aston Martin, someone else's, and a Porsche, someone else's, and Funny no story. one honked at me and said, cool car. So. Funny story, my dog has been in that Aston Martin. <laughs> I drove his dog around the, in the Aston Martin. Yeah, right. she's just like, all right, pop in. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. This looks like Italian leather. She was like, I don't give a shit, so. <laughs> Dumbass dog just hops in. So my answer is, I think cars from like the 70s. That's such a bad answer. What What's you, yours? Hold on, I follow you. We have all questions. What's yours? Do you like the big 50s, things? 60s. Like the 50s? Yeah, that's cool. Like, that like American graffiti cars, like those. Yeah, like chrome bumpers, the white wall tires. If you get one of those and drive it around, I like the gold honk at you and go cool car. And then you'll feel complete and whole inside. A deep hole. <laughs> I know, I did feel, I felt better about myself. <laughs> uh, thank you. Hi. Hi. Um, I love you both, but my question is for Alex. Um, I have, you and I have the same birthday, so I wanted to ask, what do you do for your birthday? Um, good birthday. Um, it depends. Uh, I've done it all. I've had a surprise party. Um, depends how many friends I have at the time. <laughs> you know, some years I'm just rich with acquaintances and friends, and you know, some years no one really wants to talk to me. <laughs> just it's my phone. Phone doesn't want to be your friend. Um, but I, I love having dinner and having everyone over to my house. I'm big on dinner parties and cooking and, and having everyone come over and that way I don't have to go in the LA traffic. And, um, and everyone brings me presents. And your cool car. I just like being around people that I love, I guess. I, I really don't do huge, huge parties anymore. Um, it's too hard to split the bill at a restaurant. You know, it's so... Yeah. yeah. I just don't want to split the bill. Yeah. Well, you know, it's so weird. No one wanted to throw me a party for a long time. Wow. And then all of a sudden, I was in LA and everyone was throwing me these big parties. What do you think that is? I don't know. It's because we were all stealing from you. <laughs> in your house. You were, hey, it's not a party in your house. Um, but now I just like a small gathering. What do you like to do for your party? And watch movies. Yeah, listen, that's great. That's a perfect birthday. That's great. It is a, like, it's a castle on the hill in LA off of uh, Franklin and La Brea, and it's a magician's club, and magicians belong to it, and they can in, invite their friends, and there's like dinner, there's stages, and do close up magic by the bar. It is the most magical place in LA. And I met Nathan Fillion. <laughs> Who once played my father there? We didn't meet uh, working together, as you often as you often don't do. But uh, you know, I thought that story was going to get more interesting the more I talked. <laughs> one time at the Magic Castle, I spilled a glass of champagne on a magician's lap, and I ruined all of his magic cards. <laughs> was it? Um, yes, it was. Yes. <laughs> you have to say magicians. So. I'm still embarrassed. That, oh. That's so he, he's Hi. really good, he's really good magician. But you ruined his tricks for the night. Yeah, I did. Hi. Hi. Um, is there like a specific uh, 
role or actor um, when you were you know, a kid that inspired you to become an actor? He's a he's mature pet detective, Jim Carrey. <laughs> I wrote him a letter and everything. Never heard that. I'm still waiting. that, and that makes so much sense. I, like, I wore that tape out. Yeah. 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 I, like, I wore that tape out. I used to get out of trouble by doing impersonations of, of him. When my mom would like, try to ground me, and I would just start like doing <laughs> impersonations and make it's her laugh. Insufferable. Insufferable. Oh, yeah. Um, Nicole Kidman in Moulin Rouge. <laughs> What did you do? Um, so I do karate and yeah, you do. Uh, I what? broke it. <laughs> I fell in my shower. You're supposed to break the board, man. <laughs> what belt are you? Do you have belts in karate? Uh, yes. I am green belt with, I think, two or three stripes. Nice for you. Yeah. Um, are we going to sign that cast later? I mean, if it's free. <laughs> Okay. Right. Okay. You want to play it too? I do. No? She's stuck You're standing on a team uh, right now. Yeah, you're technically standing on a team mark right now. I, uh, I always request an orange team mark. It's my team mark color because they have every character gets a different color. There's green, there's blue, there's white, and then what? So if there's a bunch of people on the scene, you know where your marks are. And I have this weird thing where for years now it's been orange. And like uh, the assistant camera guys who do this, who lay down the marks, start to like, learn this and always give me orange. Do you have a favorite color? Because I've never met any other actor that has a color that travels with them. I I try not to be demanding on set like you. <laughs> so uh, whatever's easiest for them. Yeah, I'm sure it works for you, but for me, I like an orange team mark. <laughs> but when it comes to my cars, they have to be baby blue. <laughs> oh yeah. Is your favorite color green? I mean, green's one of my favorite colors, but I have to go with either black or teal. Ooh. Good colors. Black's my mom's favorite. I like her soul. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know what you're shouting about. <laughs> I, I don't think we can. What? Well, that oh, that's your kid? <laughs> I don't think we can do better than a lovely. He just meant my mom's soul. Not your, not your poor sweet child. Don't throw that cat. I was going to say that. Uh, was that the last question? I, I, I think so. I'm sorry, right, guys. We, we do have another panel coming up. I'm really sorry. You guys have asked great questions. Thank you, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, this is great. Please, everybody, give me a huge round of applause for Alex and Jake being here. Come see us at our tables. Come here, you guys are right. You have a chance to go meet and talk to them. You go to the table. You can scan that QR code right there and you'll be able to get a photo up of them. Go to their tables and get autographs with them. Everybody give a huge round of applause for Jake and Alex, everybody.